then call the meeting to order. Please rise from the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, approval of board meeting minutes for August 28, 2024. I'll move for the approval of board meeting minutes for August 28, 2024. Okay, been a motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, approval of meeting agenda. We have a couple changes I'd like to make. We do need a, an update for uh, number nine, new business letter F, approval of 4130, for an update of this board policy. Um, and then we would like to table number nine, letter H, to the 20, the, um, to the uh, September 2000, September 23rd board meeting. Um, just waiting on just kind of, uh, just uh, on that, um, Alignment of like one page. The contract. The contract. Yeah. So should we table that in formal underneath business? Not under. We can table it under new business okay. under the agenda. Yeah. Um, but I just know that those will be two areas that will come. But we still oh, have a correction on nine. We updated to forty one thirty. Okay. Do we need um, forty one sixty nine F? It's, a, it's, updated the, it's updated in the agenda. Yep. Okay. So as it reads, okay. but not as originally advertised. Yes. Thank you. So can I get a motion? Move to approve the agenda. I'll second that. And a motion made and seconded. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Can I get an excuse for board member Bailey? I'll move to excuse board member Bailey. Second. Been a motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Is there any discussion? All, right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you for that. <clears throat> okay, moving on to number five, consent agenda. I'll move to approve the consent agenda. Second. Been a motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Public comment. Is there any public comment registered? Can you say that again? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Six? We need to do six? Yes. She was. I almost like to end. I mean, hmm. Okay. As part of the identified board goals, the uh, board priority this year is to begin doing a study of the 4,000 policies. Notice the board policy 360 is kind of the first on our stack. You'll notice a comprehensive change. Some of the conversations we'd like to have before we move it forward on an update is, is the was the sample language aligning with our internal practices? Um, so we would like to review 4060, come back at the next board meeting with further discussions on what an update would look like on 4060. Um, questions on 4060, distribution of materials. The notice, the uh, new version on top, the next page is the um, current present Elma board policy updated in uh, September, 2017. You know, it's the procedure on the next page. It's a little mm -hmm. bit different than what's currently. We're thinking we want to be able to use our current forms that we've been working on. For donations. This is going to be more distribution on materials. So community members uh, looking to have the district share different events, nonprofit groups, sports. Okay. How would that information be disseminated amongst uh, through the district? Kind of what qualifies is uh, distribution of materials, what doesn't qualify for distribution of materials to the district. 
Um, you'll notice that on our procedure, it kind of outlines, you know, nothing obscene, lewd, or vulgar, libelous, mm -hmm. uh, language that is intimidating, demeaning, harassing, threatening, promote commercial enterprises, promote violation of existing laws or regulation ordinances, or proselytizing or disparaging religious beliefs um, would be within the procedure. Policy notes a change where may want to distribute materials striking, may want to distribute materials in the school district that are non-curricular, have a social recreational educational value, versus the district may choose to make information available to students and families about programs provided that do now. So you can see kind of that language, the line is straight out, but it's a pretty comprehensive change from what the state is providing. Right. Okay. Okay. We can have that as a first reading on that. Yeah, we're not, we're, we're good with that change. If you'd like to take the time to this meeting, the next meeting, yeah. review any proposed changes you'd like to make, that would be great. I think so. Okay. Next is board policy 4110, um, committees and task force, uh, just to change from shell for will on um, school matters to school district topics. So just a minor language change. But I think the big conversation is, is as we're using advisory committees, how those advisory committees look, what do they look like, and how does that align with our board procedure? I noticed that a couple of them that I looked at too from other districts had a line in there and I thought I saw it on the procedures and made it was until it's on the back side. Yeah, about the RCW for Open Public Meeting Act, mm -hmm. which covers uh, an advisor when it has to do with delegation from the board meeting, which is not in our current policy. So that's what I saw mostly on that. You would suggest adding that, Michael? I, from all the ones that I see, it seems like everybody has been adding it. And just by reading it, I think that's probably a good thing, too, mm -hmm. just so we don't get ourselves cut, because it is an RCW, 4230-020. So um, just in case we have an advisory committee that's put together a task force that is supposed to do something specific, but we advertise for the community to come, we have to do that within open. Okay. So noting uh, language with the inclusion of OPMA. Do we typically report the duration of the committee's existence? I, I think that's the other one a, I noticed. It's a too. really that's a, like how does that how do you exercise that? Um, I mean, as of right now, we've been doing community listening sessions as our main area, plus board delegate to the public range out a series of topics. We haven't tasked out a community committee to make sensitive decision making decisions as much as we've done community um, hearing and community listing events on upcoming decisions. So I think that part of the question yeah. might be, how would you like to use committee going on in the future? Mm -hmm. The updated procedure allows you to, to do more. Mm -hmm. like if we wanted to, mm -hmm. for some odd reason, uh, have a committee that had a little bit more teeth or for some reason, mm -hmm. then we'd be able to set parameters around that committee. And these so, are now board and uh, superintendent appointed advisories. This would not necessarily inclusive of like the CT advisory, which is required under sure. federal Carl Perkins. <clears throat> yeah, I like the addition of DRCW is probably uh, better to do than not. Okay. Uh, would you like to table as a discussion for the next meeting, which is other review changes to use in the next two weeks to review? Yeah. Okay, sounds great. Board policy 4120, uh, just parent, teacher, student organizations. It's kind of about uh, defines the legal references, bingles, raffles, amusement games. So many things such as booster organizations and how boosters are, how they are approved.
approved in order to be recognized and kind of our procedures uh, in that board policy 4128. And I think uh, just a, a study on how that aligns with how we're, we're currently operating. Yeah. And then the procedure has an addition for gambling obviously yeah. with that. Uh, and it follows more of what we bring up every single time that we mm -hmm. have um, a fundraiser, mm -hmm. right? So that probably should go in there. Without a doubt. In the very last, not fortune, which also aligns with an RCW. Yeah, because it also makes yeah. clear any addition that you know talks about fun. unlicensed raffle can go. Except Jimmy yep. always brings up yep. yes. Yeah, we'll just have to be sure that if you know, like the color amounts change or that we you know, there's an increase that we yeah. keep it updated. Yeah, I mean, if it is a procedure, the procedure can be done internally without board action. Policy okay. is done with board action. Okay. So I just want to make sure that if we're putting it out to people or groups and that it's always up to date and accurate. Yeah, I think it's going to be the uh, back and forth on making sure that as we update our procedures and alignment, making sure that our internal forms and practices match with what's in the procedure. This current procedure, there was a proposed procedure. Is that the one that's attached? Yeah, that's the one that's attached. Okay. So I think following approval, we wouldn't update the procedure until the policy has been updated. Um, I know this is kind of a procedure, but when it says all such groups must receive the approval of this school principal or superintendent in order to be recognized as the booster organization, is that um, a, what does that process look like? Is that a procedure currently? The we approval of currently we have, we have them fill out a booster form that validates the um, their tax ID, their, 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 tax ID, their okay. EIN, their five hundred one c three status. Okay. And then by default, that gives them. Okay. We'll table that one with any changes. Yeah, I think uh, just kind of going through discussing them. Mm -hmm. um, board policy 4020. And as your comment was, this is a lost one we don't have. No, all three of these next policies uh, don't have any changes. Okay. According to WASDA, from what we have. Oh, okay, so we have those on. Okay. Yeah, board policy 4020, confidential communications. There are no laws to recommend getting changes for 40 and 4129. We just have those as far as review and study and recommendations. Here. I kind of compared this again to other districts and I could not find a difference. So I mean, unless there's something outstanding that somebody sees that I'm fine to move forward on it. I feel like it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. I'm good with that. Same. You would have to move on with it, Stephanie has yeah. hands. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I think that would take us through your discussion item D, 4,000 policies without changes, and take us to item number seven. Okay, we have public comment. Sorry, guys, maybe some we had it from our <laughs> comment portion. Oh, yeah. Candace, do you have our public comment statement? It's we've got two minutes of public comment, and the board cannot respond because any kind of response would mean it was not advertised. It would not be following OPMA. Absolutely understand. Does that make sense? Okay, perfect. I plan to keep it short and sweet, anyways. I have a lot of years left in the school district. I got a sixth grader. There's a lot of things that have changed recently that have greatly affected our students and the lack of staffing and the lack of plans in place. 
for disruptive kids and in place for like recess and stuff isn't working and it's endangering our students, including the almost 40 minutes of unaccounted time for my six year old yesterday. Well, three staff members who were supervising over 200 students um, looked for her with no help from the outside planning ahead of time. So she also was locked out in front of the building for several minutes, unsupervised as well. So uh, the lack of staff that we now have and the lack of plans is greatly affecting our students. And we gotta start working towards something to change that. I have 20 years left here almost, and my plan is to continue to move forward to try to change something. And so I guess this is my starting point. So I won't make you guys listen to her for the rest of your meeting. I'm just kind of wanted to get that out. And my next meeting, I'll try not to bring her, but I plan on trying to come in a little more and be more involved um, because I do need to see some progress after seven years. And the last year and a half have greatly gone downhill. Um, and like I said, I got a lot more years left in here. So uh, this is my first start. So I look forward to working with you guys in the future. And uh, we'll log into the Zoom to finish the meeting so you guys don't have to hear this for the rest of it. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can you can you state your name again? Michelle Shabansky. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Before. Any others? Thank you. Okay, so we have unfinished business approval policy twenty two fifty five alternative learning experience course a second final reading. I'll move for the approval of policy twenty two fifty five alternative learning experience. Courses second and final reading. I'll second that. It's been a motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. So that concludes unfinished business. We've got uh, approval of the 2024 through 2026 ETO contract. I'll be Did you catch that canvas? Yep. I'll be abstaining on this topic. I will move for the approval of the 24-26 ETO contract. Second. There's been a motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Would it be possible to get a copy of the final contract? For us to see uh, where changes were in the contract in the previous red line. Red line. Yeah. Yes. He's going to do the red line button. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, approval of the 24 26 EEA contract. I have stamped. We can also get you a copy of that red line, but it was pretty clerical because this contract is tied to the ETO contract. The changes are pretty four words total. Okay. I'll move for the approval of the 2024-2026 EDA contract. I'll second that. Been a motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, approval to allow eighth grade students to participate in subvarsity high school sports. Mr. Clark. The WA allows for eighth grade participation to save a program. Like if we were to lose a JV soccer team because we don't have enough numbers, we can pull eighth graders. <clears throat> I've done this before. So instead of asking each 
specific instance, instance I'd like to just have a blanket approval that when I, we need this, that I can just go to the eighth graders because this is something that WI does mandate that you get approval for. And they have a set of rules and stuff for pulling eighth grade. Yeah, it's it's very, okay. very good. And yeah. We follow up a, a bubble sheet of, and it's only certain sports that get into it. And then you have to request their approval, correct? Is that kind of how it goes? Request late approval. Yeah. From, so okay. That's right. I just was wondering if anybody else, because there's quite a bit of process that yeah. goes on that Ron has. No, I've done it three times. Yeah. And I just, and I should have got more approval. I would just, uh, I got uh, league approval. Uh, I just want this to be a like, blanket that I can do it. Um, one little caveat, though, that you could use it for varsity. If you're in danger of losing your varsity team, then you can use them for varsity. But with our numbers now, I don't think that's ever going to be a situation. I, I don't even know if the sub varsity is going to be a situation. Mm -hmm. Our numbers are pretty good. What are the sports that are allowed? To have team sports, except football. Okay. Okay. We used it back in two years, two ago. years ago. Used, yeah, yeah, because we didn't have enough for JV. And fast yeah, it's been ten the last two years. Okay. And other than that, I don't remember when we ever did. Um, for the privilege to allow eighth grade students to participate in the varsity high school sports. Second. It's been a motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Approval of the superintendent evaluation criteria. Look like at the growth goals matched it with uh, the WASDA evaluation requirements. Um, top priority this year is we're really being very serious about the impact on student learning. How are we staffing and how are we prioritizing student learning? So standard one, mission and vision, core values, aligns the district procedures and practices. Um, that's what we're replaced, evaluating effectiveness and impact on student learning. Recognizing that capitalizes on the diversity within the community for inclusion strategies and programs. Uh, works to reduce opportunity and achievement gaps, focus on inclusion, every student involved and engaged. Focus on, uh, promotes the systemic improvement of curricular. That's gonna be the focus on the implementation of our new instructional materials. Um, promote the development of student agency and learning and participation or replace measuring student engagement and involvement. Um, indicate standard five professional capacity indicator A is where we place focus on evaluation professional development of the improvement of student learning is the focus on high quality instructions in every classroom. And then standard seven indicator A use continuous improvement process for the board policy reviews for 4,000 policies. Do you like further elaboration or any kind of further, you know, I kind of took the bullet points from the board goals for the 24, 25 school year and broke those out and connected them. I think we can write it up any way that you would like. I will move for the approval of um, since I find the verbiage to it. The superintendent evaluation. Second that. And a motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, discussion approval of policy 4000 public information program first and uh, first rate. This is the was to update on the 4,000 policy. It had a just major update on staff communication with the public and public health information, just where we would be placing information that was in alignment with uh, updated RCWs. For the approval of policy 4000 public information program, first reading. There's been a motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, approval, a discussion and approval of policy 4130, Title I, Part A, Parent Family Engagement, first reading. 
Uh, just this is just an update with the updated federal laws on uh, adding Title I Part A, the language, the definitions under Title I Part A. I'm going to the first of all of the Title I Part A, parent and family engagement. Second. And a motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of the 24 25 exempt employee pay increase. Um, this is only up to 5%. Um, would not go beyond. It's consistent with the bargaining contracts that have been done, but we did post some new positions that we had some late level hires that were already at rebase salary and a shifting of responsibilities that those would not be applied to. Get that right, Lisa. For like our new hires. On the new hires, that's already built into their the it, starting hires. salary. Yeah. Yeah. I'll move for the approval of the 2024-25 exempt employee pay increase. Second. It's been a motion made and seconded. Is there any further discussion? I think I'm staying. Do I have staying? No, Eric's no, not okay. in that one. Oh, Eric's not in that one. Okay. Even okay. admin. Okay, I'm back in. She's, she's on the sideline waiting. <laughs> oh, nope, I'm back in. Okay. Is there any... I was trying to send Lisa in my eyes. Oh, like, I'm sorry. Man, she she won't that? look at you. It's like, what's she making me crazy eyes at me? What is she doing? <laughs> is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of the 24 26 EESP contract. I think we are looking, so Chad, just a question. We already have payroll already set up on this. We're looking to table to the next contract. Are you good with we table it? And just, you're not forcing another change. Should we just leave payroll all set up? Payroll already set up. We're just asking to table it while we get that last line fixed. You're kind of good with us just leaving payroll all set up. You're not forcing a change between now and now. We don't foresee a change. Yeah. Either. So, we're really good with it. We're good. Um, so we'll ask to table till 923, but I'm just asking for, um, I don't need a motion, but just uh, recommended guidance that we just continue to leave our payroll set up as it's ready to go. We can official on table. I'll move to table uh, new business 9H until 923.20. Well, second. There's been a motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Michael. Uh, superintendent report. Um, we had a great start to the school year. Um, did learning walks today, and we're in classrooms. We set the priorities that we'd like to have learning targets in every classroom, identifying what we want our students to know, clear standards aligned success criteria. I think our administrators, we did our learning walks today. We made it into about uh, 15 classrooms out of the high school. And consistently across the board, all 15 were exactly hitting the expectation that we want to see. But where all of our students know what they want to learn, our students know what they want, you know, how to be successful in each of their classes. We're pretty excited about the um, uh, the direction in which we're going and uh, the seriousness in which our staff is taking that work on. Our top priority is that we can show all of our students are learning across the district and that we have data aligned to show that our students are learning across the district. So uh, I'm just kind of leave it there. I think, Mr. Clark, we've had some pretty good successes in athletics. I mean, if we had the only big 1A in that school win in Grace Harbor last Friday, and then we had a great win down against WF West Volleyball. So we're having... That was the, yesterday, 100 degrees in the gym, but it was great. Three straight sets. It was one of the more exciting. Oh, it was exciting. Yeah. Just a great start for the year. Why was it so hot? <laughs> <laughs> that was... Just on the day. I can't say okay. That. <laughs> Great start to the year. So I think that would make for a pretty short superintendent report. Future agenda items, we will have that loaded up now that the
board uh, evaluation uh, criteria has been identified at the next meeting. We'll be identifying the topic for the future board. Okay, so at this time, we're going to convene to a, a sec, an, an executive session uh, for grievance appeal meeting for 30 minutes with no action being taken. We will come out at 7 p.m. 7 701. 701. Hi.
<clears throat> we gotta come up with something. I'll move to extend that executive session by 15 minutes. You gotta oh. give it time. Ooh, uh, so we'd be out at 716. I'll second that. Been a motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? All in favor?
Uh, uh, I'll move to extend executive session by 15 minutes. We'll come out at uh, what, what are we looking 731. at? 731. 731. Okay. Motion and second. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion made.
We need to adjourn the meeting. Yes. You're up. I make a motion we adjourn the meeting. I second. It's been a motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. And then.